Hello, it is January 5th, 2022, my new favorite year, hopefully yours too. You, did you know that January was not always the first month of the year? It was Julius Caesar who decided he really wanted the, uh, the god um, Janus, who was two-faced, and he had a face facing forward and he had a face facing backward, and he thought this was a great time to start the year. So, you know, nature doesn't know it's January 1st, but humans do. And this is our traditional time of making promises to ourselves, setting a new trajectory for the next 12 months. And I'm so glad that you are here and doing that with me. Meditation is always a great way to start a year, always a great way to start a day. And some of you know that we talk a little bit about the two times of day to meditate. I know some of you are in different time zones. Some of you just watch this as a recording. Um, but in general, if you can start your day with a meditation, um, get up to sit down, or as some people say, rise, pee, meditate. What it does is it helps you to move into your day with more awareness, with more presence, with a lot less reactivity, and your chances of getting hijacked by your phone by the drama on the news, by somebody else's drama in your household or at work are, are greatly diminished. So some people say, well, why should I meditate first thing in the morning? It's simply to start off right. You've already gotten your rest, but let's get your mind at rest rather than grabbing your phone and checking what, what happens to be on there that captures your interest and hijacks you away from what you really want. So what is it that you really want? What do you want? How do you want to live today? What do you want to invite into your world? I want to read you a poem. And um, this is one of my favorite writers. Some of you have heard this. And I'll probably, some of you um, who are in the teacher training might hear it again sort of soon. Some of them are starting their intensive, their final 10 days on the 7th on Friday. So this one's called For a New Beginning by John O'Donohue, the Celtic poem, poet who, or Irish poet who recently passed away. So I invite you to close your eyes for a moment. Called A New Beginning. In out of the way places of the heart where your thoughts never think to wander, this beginning has been quietly forming, waiting until you were ready to emerge. For a long time, it has watched your desire, feeling the emptiness grow inside you, noticing how you willed yourself on, still unable to leave what you had outgrown. It watched you play with the seduction of safety and the gray promises that sameness whispered. It heard the waves of turmoil rise and relent and wondered, would you always live like this? Then the delight when your courage kindled and you stepped onto new ground, your eyes young again with energy and dream, a path of plentitude opening before you. Though your destination is not yet clear, you can trust the promise of this opening. Unfurl yourself into the grace of beginning that is at one with your life's desire. Awaken your spirit to adventure. Hold nothing back. Learn to find ease in risk. Soon you will be home in a new rhythm for your soul senses the world that awaits you. Awaken your spirit to adventure. Hold nothing back. Learn to find ease in risk. Soon you will be home in a new rhythm for your soul senses the world that awaits you. So let's start this meditation by getting comfortable if you're not already. And today's meditation will start with um, connecting to that deepest part of you, connecting to that soul that is so aware that you're wanting a new beginning, that you need to uh, kindle your courage, and that's excited to take a risk this year. So settling back, as you know, 
I often re re recommend the five essentials so that you have an easy journey into our meditation. We're going to be meditating for about 20 minutes. And the five essentials are that it's okay to get interrupted. It's okay to have your thoughts wander, but to come back here again and again and again, right here where your life is. Secondly, be nice to yourself in there. Don't spend any time with criticism or beating yourself up or being ashamed or being worried or thinking you've done something wrong. What if everything that has occurred up until this very moment was perfectly designed for your life lessons or for someone else's? Third, don't try to have a certain experience. Have the experience you're having and learn to find that peace no matter what. Fourth, don't have any expectations. Begin this practice with a beginner's mind, with a beginner's mind, a mind that's free from preconceived notions and from being uh, tied to the past or the way it used to be or the way you want it to be. And lastly, stick with the whole practice because meditation is a training. It's a training to be right here, right now, and to deeply connect to that part of you that's listening to me now, that you know has been with you since you were born. So let's start by taking some long, slow, deep breaths. Ideally through your nose, as you gently close your eyes if they're not already closed. Breathing in slowly and fully on the inhale. And letting out the exhale slowly and fully. Let that breath move, make your belly move. On the inhale, big belly. On the exhale, bringing that navel to the spine emptying your lungs at your own pace. And then let your breath return to its natural rhythm and depth. Throughout this practice, ideally you'll be breathing naturally. Your eyes can be closed or gazing downward toward the ground. And there's no need to sit perfectly still if you need to shift or adjust your posture in any, in any time you can do that. So let's begin with a practice. As you silently repeat the words, I am followed by your name. For instance, I am Sarah McLean. Silently repeating, I am followed by your name. And now, I am followed by your first name. And dropping your first name, so simply, I am.
You can coordinate this with your breath if you like. I am. Being sure your body is completely soft as you're in a receptive mode for the breath, the mantra, the sounds in the environment, the sensations in your body. I am. And we can turn this mantra into the Sanskrit mantra, aham, which means I am, aham. And if you'd like to follow that with prema, P-R-E-M-A, that means divine love. Aham, prema. Aham, prema. Allowing this mantra to connect with the breath if it's easy. Letting your body be soft. Whenever you notice your attention drifting away from the mantra, simply bring it back. The mantra is simply an instrument for the mind to take a deeper dive, to connect with that essential part of you, which is pure and divine. Aham, prema. There's no particular feeling you should be having, no particular experience you should have. We're going to innocently repeat this mantra for a little while, and I'll keep track of the time.
The repetition of this mantra is very gentle, like you're listening to it. Whenever you notice your attention has drifted away, come on back here. Aham Prema. Now letting go of the mantra completely and simply tuning into the sensation of breathing. There's no particular rhythm or depth to the breath, letting it be as subtle or as deep as it is. Letting your attention rest on the end of the exhale as you breathe naturally.
Now, if you've chosen a particular word or experience that you'd like to have this year, let's start by inviting it into this moment. For instance, if it's courage or simplicity, you can begin with, I am courageous or I am simple. Continue to repeat this as an affirmation and a mantra as you invite the feeling to radiate in your body, imagining you already have what you want. And now as you sit here, drop all the techniques, all the mantras, all the affirmations, and simply rest in being. Rest in being. Rest in the loveliness of your being. I'm going to sound the chimes and invite you to sit and rest in the loveliness of your being for 
a couple of more minutes before opening your eyes. Before you open your eyes, I'd like to read you another poem. It's from the Radiance Sutras. The heart of the universe pulses in all hearts. There is one who is the life in all forms. There is one who is joyful in simply existing in all bodies as all bodies. Explore the life that is the life of your present form. One day you will discover you are not different and it is not different from the life of the secret one. And your heart will sing triumphant songs of being at home everywhere. Deepening your breath. Tuning into that one that exists in your body and in my body. That pure love, that pure divinity. And inviting the awareness of it as you go through the rest of your day. That's the true meaning of namaste. Namaste. I bow to that love that lives through you as you, that lives through me as me, and lives through each body, each one of us as itself. So thank you for practicing with me today. And open your eyes whenever you feel ready, taking your time always coming out of meditation. This is a good happy new moment. Happy new moment. How are you doing right now? How are you being? How are you feeling? Doing okay? The first poem was For a New Beginning by John O'Donohue. And that second reading was The Radiant Sutras by translated by Lauren Roach. Thank you for listening. Thank you for meditating with me and all of us as we sit here ushering in the very best of this new year. I'm excited. I hope you are too. Now stay right there if you're here live. I'm going to stop recording and say goodbye to those listening to this and happy new year.